Well, hello loves, happy Thursday to you, or happy whatever day you're watching this. Happy Crash the Stash Day, where we use our bits and pieces from our stash to create some really great journal pages. And I just want to recap what I did. Um, first, I gessoed my page, and I gessoed this scrap piece of cardboard. This was just a piece of cardboard that I had laying around from a box. And I tore that top layer off so that it would reveal some of that under layer, that yummy goodness. And I gessoed both of those. And then I put everything down with matte medium. This is Deco Arts matte medium, and it is a great price for a matte medium if you don't have any. It's a great product to get. Um, and then I put just some random bits. I had some scrapbook paper that looked like fabric, and I, I just loved that. So, And that was kind of my color theme to kind of go from, to work from. Then I had some, vin some vintage bird paper that I put down and another scrap piece of paper from a floral book. Um, I put down the edge of that piece of paper too and I just love, love, love it. Um, and then I just watered down my paints. I used Prussian Blue Hue and Cerulean Blue Hue. Um, and I used, uh, I only have Prussian Blue in a regular um, like medium body paint but then the rest of the paints that I used were my fluid acrylics um, and then I did a glaze over the top of that with sepia and um, glazing medium and um, DecoArt also has a really inexpensive glazing medium that works really well um, if you're looking for that then I had a piece of ruler that I had and this is a metal heart that I had in my stash that I decided to break out and use. And this butterfly is free in the um, free inspiration section of the shop that you can get for yourself and download. And then I used um, two, two of my favorites, old type text and the vintage postage uh, one or two, I don't, vintage postage one, um, for around the sides to bring in that black and that white to kind of neutralize things. Then I splattered with white, and I then I used my fine liner to do some scribbles. And the fine liner has just plain white um, craft paint and a little bit of water and a little bit of airbrush medium to get it to flow very nicely. You could also use this fine liner and put in um, the fluid acrylics too, um, and it would work pretty much the same. Then I have some vintage stamps that I used. The, this is um, one and then I have this other one here. It's I just love these and I break them out every now and again um, because when I need just something I need to, to fill in that space. Um, and then I just I printed out these words. I have this font in Photoshop that I used and I printed those out and that was perfect and it says you have everything you need inside you. 
Hmm, can't, don't we all need that message? All right, loves, that's the rundown for this Crash the Stash. All of the supplies and everything are listed on the blog, and the link is below in the description box. And if you liked the video, give me a like or a thumbs up, and um, uh, subscribe. All right, I will see you next week.